Hey fam, what's up, what's up, what's up? This is Robert Anton here, RobertAnton.com with your no frill, the voice commentary from a singer. Y'all know I'm already busted up because I know what happened, but I'm, <laughs> let me tell you right along the way because I don't want to give it away. Y'all already know anyway, but I want to talk about it. Okay, tonight the 11 becomes 10 as we get closer to the finale. Miley and Jennifer were both in very sparkly outfits to start this out at the top of the show and Adam Levine gave Carson a kiss on the cheek. Then we jumped right into it. Results, results, results! First two safe were Chloe Kohansky and Addison Egan. Of course, they were number one and number two on the iTunes chart, so we are pretty sure about that. I'm glad they got that right of the way. Then Team Miley performed with their coach, Man, I Feel Like a Woman by Shania Twain, and all the ladies in Leopard was an interesting choice, but it was definitely Really fun and they sounded really good at first together with lots of background going on but then I realized that were they even singing when the background was happening I saw folks move mouth not moving and mics going all over the place when the mic wasn't and it seemed like the mic might have been off while they weren't singing because like when they came in for their solo sometimes they had it was a little low and they had to turn it up real quick I don't know what was going on they were cute traipsing around the stage together as a, like a little unit but the production was really messy and obscured a lot of their vocals results 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 Next to say for Brooke Simpson and Devon Fleming. Yay! Oh, I'm so glad that Devon went through early. I'm so happy. I can rest easy. All right, if you're resting easy, please make sure to thumb up the commentary. Let me know that you are enjoying it. I thank you so much for watching. This is going to fly by. I thank you for your thumbs. Next up, we had Team Adam performing with their coach, Go Your Own Way by Fleetwood Mac. And Adam started this out naturally with some heavy instrumentation behind him. This was rocking, and Chloe was breezy on her first section. Was it me or did they all look a little miffed or perplexed during the performance? I was like, you know, Adam is always a little deadpan when he's performing and stuff like that. But it seemed like it rubbed off on the others. Then Chloe finally, like when they had a little instrumental break a little bit, Chloe kind of got into it, you know, and did her thing, brought a little energy. And Adam C got to do some really wailing on some of those notes, which wasn't bad. This was a decent performance. The drummer was the star, though. He was back there, da 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 killing it. Results, results, results. Next two safe were Red Marlowe and Noah Mack. I can deal with that. Then Blake Shelton sings his latest hit, I'll Name the Dogs. And Jennifer Hudson was, I don't know if she featured on the record, but she sang with him on the song on stage tonight. And Blake just gets me to smile and when he starts drawling out those lyrics, I'm just like, I can't help but get a big old look at like, like I am now. And I was surprised that Jay, uh, Jennifer blended so well with him and their harmony was very laid back and palatable. I was like, okay, this is nice. Results, results, results. The last three safe were Ashlyn Kraft, Keisha Renee, and Cheyenne Jones. And Miley mouth, mouth just fell open. She was not happy at all. I don't blame her. Janice and Adam C. sing for the same. First up was Adam Cunningham. He did Amazed by Lone Star and I really love this song so much. And it was sounding good in Adam's voice. He had the right amount of everything with the notes sailing, the emotion on display. I also like the way he riffed off some of the notes on the end of a few of those phrases and really went for the high notes. Though at one point the background kind of obscured what he was trying to do that didn't come out. But that last big note, nice and girl and just... Ah! He just screamed out like, go ahead on the saying, brother. Then Janice Freeman did Chandelier by Sia. And this was a big song for Janice. And she came in so solid and brought the story with her own special spunk. Her voice is a lot heavier than Sia. So it felt like a, it was just a little labored getting into those high notes and transitioning into the falsetto. This wasn't her best vocal, but she did make it her own and save that ending with the... She had the tight little flub near the ending, but you almost couldn't tell because she was just went on to do something else and just, you know, did her thing. You know, just masked it really well and did a really nice job. So then we find out who won. If you want to see my reaction, go over to Robert Anton Vlogs. It'll also it should also be um in my most recent videos playlist and watch my live at the moment reaction as things are happening, right? In the moment. Okay. But Adam C gets the save again and Janice Freeman goes home. Sad face. Oh, I'm so sorry to see her go. Did you, are you surprised by these results? I am so surprised that everybody on my timeline is like, I'm still upset about John and now they're sending Janice home. I can't stand these people. Okay, so this is Robert Anton, RobertAnton.com. Tell me what you thought down in the comments. Did the right person go home? Were the right people in the bottom too? I want to know your thoughts. Okay, I am out. See you next week.